Hello guys, so today is the first ever episode of the NFL show. It's me here, Josh, the host, and the, ho- the other host here, Nolan. And today, we're going to be talking about some news to start it off. So you'll see us when we talk about the first news. And we're back guys, so first things first, we're going to be talking about Jordan Love and um, the possibility of being traded. Do you think he should be traded or not, Nolan? I think he should stay with the Packers because Aaron Rodgers is getting old. And yeah. he might retire soon. Yeah. I think he should stay with the Packers also because um, because Aaron Rodgers is getting older like Tom Boy, like he said. And mm-hmm. in case Aaron Rodgers get injured, what might happen again, and they need a backup, and Jordan Love's a good rookie. Yeah. And it, it's he... It's kind of like the connection with Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre with Jordan Love. Aaron Rodgers is known from the legendary Brett Favre. And now, Jordan Love is known from the legendary Aaron Rodgers. So it's kind of connection with them. So I think he should stay with them. Yeah. Good prediction. And now we're going to talk about Joe Burrow. So, the Bengals might be bringing in a veteran quarterback. And... Andy Dalton got traded to the Cowboys, so they don't have a backup. So, I th- so the Bengals might get a backup veteran quarterback. I think they should because, one, he's young, so he might get injured, and if he isn't playing as good, he will need a backup. And just because, in, just in case anything happens, they'll have a backup. And just, like... That that happens a lot. Rookie just do that, so you need a backup. What yeah. do you think? Hmm. I think. Do you think they should get a veteran quarterback hmm. for backup or not? Hmm. I didn't. I can't really decide. Uh. I think they should need a backup. Yeah. Yeah. If I look for them. Why do you think that? Hmm. I I don't know. I usually. I don't really have a lot to say about this question. Yeah. I do because the Bengals, well, it's controversial with their team because yeah. they they used to be good with Anthony yeah. Nunos and those players, but yeah. last 10 years, 20 years, they just went downhill. Yeah. Andy Dalton, like, he, he was decent, but yeah. last couple of years... And then they had A.J. Green, who was really good when he was a rookie, but mm-hmm. now not so much. Yeah. And he is a free agent, but he got franchise takes from the Bengals, so he's still on there, but I don't think he's going to have that much of a good year, A.J. Green and Joe Burrow. Yeah. I think you're probably right. And so now we're going to talk about who is going to be the biggest threat to Patrick Mahomes for MVP. Okay, so I think the MVP winner or like would be a really good matchup if you had to like play a game to see who would win MVP. I think the good matchup would be Patrick Mahomes. Obi. We're putting him in the game no matter what for us. But I think his contender would be Russell Wilson. Why? Well, because he he's getting older, but he isn't that old. He's very athletic. A very strong arm and very fast, so I think he will be good. And he all he he had a very good season last year. He was yeah. like he was the top two best quarterbacks of last year. So mm-hmm. that's why I am picking Russell Wilson. What do you think? Hmm. Huh. And See. also, I do not think Lamar Jackson have a good year at all. Even though I have my hair, he had a really good last season last year, but I think he's gonna go downhill. Hmm. Let me see who I'm gonna pick. Uh. Hmm. I you're going to hear my answer, but I'm going to Drew Brees, not because I just have a jersey on. That that seems right. He almost went MVP this year, also. He had yeah. it on. I don't really have like anything why, but uh. You just think that he's yeah. he's kind of he's, old, but yeah. like he he's athletic, very strong arm, and very nice person. Yeah, I think even though he's old, doesn't mean he's bad. Yeah, like Tom Brady, he's really really old, but he isn't bad. And yeah. then Terry, he's like forty seven. He's the oldest NFL player that's still playing. He's really old. He's a kicker, but he he's really good, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, and then when we get back to you after commercial break, guys, you will see who we think is going to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. And we're back, guys. Yep. So, for Offensive Rookie of the Year, I think that it is going to be very fast, very good, wide receiver, Henry Ruggs. We'll see you guys in a second. So, guys, we should have to stop for a second. So, yeah, I think it's Henry Ruggs 1. Because he's very talented, kind of like DeAndre Hopkins. And it's going to be a tough race for other players against yeah. him. What do you think? So I one? think it's kind of going to be a bad answer, but it's just I think it's Justin Jefferson. So from LSU went to the Vikings? Yeah. yeah. Why do you think that? Hmm. I just think he's really good and, and talented. And, yeah, and all of our players are very young. They're like yeah. in the 20, 21. Because they're rookies, so of course they're young. Yeah. I know a rookie, somehow he was 35. I don't know how that happened, but so yeah. He was in college. Yeah, he, he just didn't get to play in the NFL for a while. So, yeah. yeah, so, and then when we get back to you guys, you'll see where it's going to be. It's going to be good in that part. Okay, so we're back, guys. So right now, the first ever time... It's called pick on. Mm -hmm. So we have a we are here. You can't see it, but it, the number is one through sixteen, and the sixteen games on this. So whatever number it lands on, we'll do that game, and we're gonna spin it four times this episode. So let's get give it a spin for the first time. What is it gonna land on, and then we'll we'll guess what the score is gonna be or what we think. And this is week one. So, it's game seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Philadelphia at Washington. Who do you think will win? Hmm. I, what score? And I'll, I'll be the score for Philadelphia, and you'll be the score for Washington. Washington, no, 17. I think the Eagles, 27. All right, now we'll stop. We'll come back once we spin it again, guys. And it landed on number one this time, so Houston and Kansas City. Now, I'll pick Kansas City, and you'll pick Houston. I think Kansas City will put up 35 points, guys. And Houston's a pretty good team also. Hmm. Uh, they don't have Deontay Hopkins anymore. Yeah. They do have Wilford V. And Deshaun Watson. Yeah, did you do they have Gigi Watt? Yes, you. Yes, yeah. they do. Oh well, yeah, they do. Uh, but they okay. don't have Clowney anymore. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think. Um, I think be Houston. Twenty-eight. Oh, good, good guess. Now when we get back to you guys, we'll see the third spin. And we're back, guys. So for a third of four spins, it is the number two. So Seattle at Atlanta. Now, I will pick Seattle, and okay. you will pick Atlanta. Okay. I think Seattle is going to only have 10. 10? Okay. I think Atlanta's going to have, hmm, 21. Okay. And we'll get to you guys once we do the final four spin. And it was number 10, guys, so let's see what game it was. So Cleveland at Baltimore. I think Baltimore's gonna win. So and I get to pick them. So I think they're gonna get twenty-seven. Okay. I think I think Cleveland is gonna get ten. Okay. They aren't really good though. Yeah. I think that's and, a good guess for them. Yeah. Okay. And we'll see you guys when we get to the next segment. And we're back, guys. So now it's NFL trivia time. So I'm going to give him a question first. What okay. team, and they're actually both Super Bowl things, so okay. what team has the most Super Bowl wins? Hmm, let me guess. And how much? Hmm, the Patriots with five Super Bowl wins. Ooh, close. It's actually two teams. Two teams. The Steelers and the Patriots with six uh -huh. each. Now, you ask me a question. Okay, what team has never went to the Super Bowl? Hmm. I think the Lions. The Browns. 
Oh, wow. Yes. That's surprising. Yeah, that's really surprising. And when we get back, we'll talk more NFL. And we're back, so this is... This is just going to be probably for this episode, but we're going to talk about last year's Super Bowl, Super Bowl 54, Chiefs and 49ers. We are going to say three questions, three answers. One, what should the Super Bowl been? Why were it those teams? And if you had to pick the score, what would it be? And so I'll go first. I think the Super Bowl should have been Ravens and 49ers. Why? And um, I think that the... Ravens would have won 35 to 24. Okay. So. We're actually not going to answer yeah. the other question. So, what I'm going to pick is the Ravens and the Packers. And and Packers a win. And at what score? And a 28 to 17. Mm, that, that sounds. Good, but, and, once we come back, we will talk Coach of the Year and Offensive Player of the Year, who we think it would have been, or should have been. And we're back, so I'm going to answer the two questions first, and then he'll answer. Okay. So, I think Coach of the Year should have been Pete Carroll, actually. Okay. So, yeah, they see, he had a good year with the Seahawks. And now, what? who I think should have been Offensive Player of the Year was Michael Thomas like who it was? Who do you think? So do you I think th- it's going to be hmm. the same as mine? No, I think Andy Reid should have won it. And then and then offensive player of the year was DeAndre Hopkins. Hmm, good, good, good idea. Mm-hmm. And, and when we get back to you guys, we'll do a couple more segments, maybe two more. And when we get back, defensive player of the year. And we're back, guys. So, who we think should have won Defensive Player of the Year? I think the legend should have won it. Clowney. Jadavion Clowney. Why, you ask? Well, I think, one, he's he got drafted in, like, 2013, so he's still pretty young. Or 2014. I don't know. It was the same year as Odell got drafted, right? Mm-hmm. I remember that. I remember that draft a couple years ago. I, was, I wasn't really that old, but I remember him. And it was pretty good. Who do you think should have won? I think Aaron Donald should have won because, because I just think he's just really good and he's giant. Really athletic. Sport. Yeah. All yeah. of the defensive yeah. players and offensive players are very athletic. Yeah. And now, when we get back from one more break, we will show you the Walter Payton Man of the Year. Okay, now our options for Walter Payton Man of the Year. Who do you think? I think a Drew Brees. Oh, why? Mm, I don't. I don't really know that, really. But I'm just going to go with him. Okay. Good. Good idea. Sorry about that, guys. But my idea would. It was kind of hard for me choosing from the wheel winner, Clay Campbell, or J.J. Watt. But I had to go with my boy J.J. Watt. So yeah. And then after. Yeah, I think he's all of, our, all of the people we've talked about today are very athletic, right? Yeah. And once we get back from this final break of the day, we'll show you the final segment. And now for the final part of this episode, which Madden was the best? All the way back from John Madden, all the way to Madden 20, or even, even Madden 21. Yeah. It's coming out soon in a couple of months. So mm-hmm. my... My favorite one. Actually, wait. You should pick yours first. Yeah, I think it's Madden 2012. Ooh, why do you think that? Hmm. Just I never played it, but... Uh, you've heard hmm. good things, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've tried it. I kind of like it. But this game is what a lot of people think, as or I think so, as the best Madden ever. And I also do. Uh, maybe they don't, but I do... Madden 2004. You're probably asking why, but it just had every good Michael Vick, all of those players. So, yeah, like, I think Barry Sanders was in it. I don't yeah, know. Maybe. I don't think so, but maybe. So, yeah. So, thank, thank you, you all realize, for watching yes. this episode. 
and we will see you in episode two of the show.